Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. It's Nair of Asanel and I'm doing my Sephora uh, VIB, BI, whatever you want to call it, sale. If you'd like to see my recommendations and I'm coming at it from the point of view of a dry skin girl. If you'd like to see that, then definitely check me out. Sweethearts, welcome back to Asaneo. Welcome back. <laughs> Going to talk today about my Sephora VIB sale recommendations, what I have sitting in my cart waiting to purchase, and then also just other products I've purchased over the years from Sephora that I think you guys would be interested in. Um, so who am I? My name is Neo. This is my channel here, Asaneo. I like to talk about luxury, whether that is shoes, handbags, makeup, and of course a luxury mindset. I like to end a lot of my videos and I'm trying to get better at starting a lot of my videos with a word of advice which is always always choose happiness. Regard so I do, I like to start off all my videos with a positive word to choose happiness. It's a choice you get to make every day. Um, sometimes we have so much difficulty understanding that we control our emotions, our emotions don't control us and that the longer you can stay in a status of emotional well-being and appreciation then you will attract to you all the good things that you've been wanting in life. We'll talk more about that another time. Anyway, let's get back on topic because it is Sephora VIB sale time. Everybody, internet, YouTube, beauty world, even people who are not into beauty are going nuts right now thinking about it's time to get makeup and skincare and hair care and hair care tools on sale. Uh, the event started uh, the 30th of October and it goes until 9th of November. There's different tiers of course. If you're a VIB Rouge, which means you spend $1,000 at Sephora, you get a 20% discount. If you're just VIB, you get a 15% discount, which means you've spent $350 at Sephora. And then if you are a beauty insider, which means you've signed up at Sephora for their beauty program, you get a 10% uh, discount. So. There's been so many sales going on right now, but it's always a good time to pick up items that are only available at Sephora. So definitely check that out. I'm going to start off with some skincare. I have a bunch of items that I own, that I use in my uh, skincare regime that I think if you have dry skin or because it's the winter, your skin feels a little drier, then these are recommend these are products I definitely recommend and then I'm gonna jump into some products that I'm hoping to get during the sale um, I'm not Rouge so I haven't been yet um, but there are some products that I will be picking up so definitely one of my favorite facial treatment essences and I have a few but one I've repurchased over and over most probably about four or five times now is the SK2 facial treatment essence um, with Patera Great product, great layering product. If you have dry skin, really moisturizing product. You can't go wrong with that one. And then I also have The Ordinary. This is the Buffet with Copper Peptide. Great layering serum. Uh, the Ordinary, you, it's, it's less expensive because you buy, because the serums are all very individualized. So you can pick and choose which serum you want based on your skincare needs. With The Buffet, it's the one where it's like, everything thrown in. So it is one of the more expensive serums at about $28, but literally every skin concern that you have, this bottle will take care of it. I also like that the bottle is uh, this brown um, glass, which helps protect the, the copper peptides in it. Highly recommend that one. Get it, 20% off. It will be a good right. deal. Uh, next product on my list is glycolic acid. So, um, because I have dry skin, it, sometimes it gets really dry and really flaky, especially during the winter. So years ago, it's probably been about 10 years now, I did start using glycolic acid to help me with um, cell turnover, dry skin, the flakiness and so on. And I know for a lot of people, glycolic acid can be drying. I started off with a low concentration, worked my way up. And uh, unfortunately, my favorite glycolic acid product was discontinued a couple years ago. Uh, so I've been looking for a replacement. And one of the ones I like so far is by Omorobiza. Omorobiza. Um, and it's the Acid Fix. 
I'm not sure the concentration because I don't just close it, but it does have a slight sting to it when I put it on my face, so it makes me think it's in at least a 10% range. Um, uh, honestly, if you are following up with moisturizers and emollients and uh, you know serums and oils after using a glycolic acid, then your skin will adjust if you have that tingling sensation in the beginning. Uh, and I really, I do recommend this one. It's not my favorite because my favorite was discontinued, but I do recommend the Omorovica um, uh, Acid Fix, which is around a hundred and five dollars, and so with a twenty, ten to twenty percent discount, now's a good time to grab it. Another product that I do also like to use, uh, which I found quite by accident, is of course the Sunday Riley A Plus high dose retinoid serum. Um, if you've been using AHA, glycolic acid, lactic acids with stronger concentration, then you do need to start off with a stronger retinol. And so once I started using the A plus high dose retinoid serum from Sunday Riley, yes, <laughs> it was on. This is my second bottle. Uh, it, it retails for $85, so definitely something to pick up during the sale. Now, after I use these, um, you know, the active ingredients, I always like to follow up with good moisturizers, good oils. Um, this is my Dr. J Dr. Yacht, Dr. Yacht, because I know you don't pronounce the J as a J. Uh, this is the Ceramidin Cream, which has a moisture retention shield and has ceramides in it. It doesn't have the best smell, it's not a terrible smell, but you know, it's not perfumey at all. Great, great barrier for your skin. This has been purchased multiple times. Um, really, really occlusive, um, but also settles into your skin. Highly, highly recommend that. And then now is also a good time to pick up on some oils. I first heard about the Fresh Seaberry Moisturizing Face Oil from um, Stephanie. Oh my gosh, I forgot her last name, but I'll link her channel down below. She always does an amazing Sephora recommendations list. And she did not go wrong with this one. As you guys can see, I'm almost done with this bottle, so I will be repurchasing that. And then, of course, my Sunday Riley Juno Antioxidant Superfood Face Oil. Another really great super moisturizing oil. Uh, I love this one. It's one of the less expensive ones from Sunday Riley. It doesn't have a terrible smell. It does just smell like oil and nothing disgusting like the Luna oil. So those are just some of the skincare that I would say it now would be an excellent time to pick it up. I do have a few more things on my list that I want to pick up. So I definitely want to get the uh, Belief Aqua Moisturizer Balm, not just the... Uh, because there's the one that's the cream and it's more emollient and heavier to use. So I'm definitely excited about picking that one up. That was on my list. Uh, and then, of course, I'm going to also, because it's a discount, and how often do we see this product on a discount? But I will be picking up a La Mer, Creme de la Mer. I cannot wait to get my hands on this product. I <laughs> love it. I always get the little tiny samples and I always have one of those uh, for whatever reason and this time around I thought just buy the thing. Just buy the jar. We'll figure it out later. So I definitely will be picking that up and I can't wait to get that. Uh, I'll be picking up the, not Tart, um, oh, Tatcha, uh, the primer, the liquid primer because the silk canvas. I do have this. I bought it in the small size because I'm not much of a primer girl. I, I don't use primer all the time. Um, and I've loved it so far. Um, but I am. I have noticed that I do reach more for my liquid moisturizing type of uh, primers. Uh, so more than I do for this kind of balm primer. So I thought, well, I should definitely try out the Tatcha uh, liquid silk canvas primer that I'm definitely excited for. Uh, Hourglass Caution Mascara. I got this in my this year's Lucky Bag from Beautylish and I've become addicted. I have definitely got to pick that one up again. So that is on the list. I'm also interested in trying the Pat McGrath's uh, mini balm trios that have come out and the new trio, um, lip balm that she has in the circular, in the little circle pot. 
I love, uh, I, I have the Omarovica one. I love it. I use it every single day. It would be nice to try something new. Uh, so that would be a good one. And then, of course, uh, the Pat McGrath Mega Motherships. Any of her palettes. I love her, pam her palettes, especially the big ones, the 12-pan ones. I love the formulation of the product. Uh, the new 16-pan one is out. Also, the uh, her highlight. Oh, that looks amazing. That is definitely on my list. This might also be the time I finally get a new bronzer. <laughs> I'm definitely thinking about getting the Gucci bronzer. Um, I've, I, I've said before in the past, because it seems like over the summer, bronzers had their moment. And I was like, I know I'm not going to use this. I don't see the point in buying a bronzer. But I think YouTube might have worn me down and I might pick one up. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, one more thing for skincare. I always love to check the Sephora uh, sale pages as well because then you can stack the sale on, uh, on sale. And the Lancer has a really good physical exfoliant. The particles are small enough where it's not like, you know, your face is getting scratched out. Uh, I don't use it daily. I would probably use it like maybe two or three times a week because like I said, I use, I prefer chemical exfoliants in the glycolic acids, etc. Just a slightly different list for everybody because I focused more on uh, skincare. Also try to focus it on skincare as a dry skin girl, what we can do for ourselves because winter's coming people. Winter is coming, and I say this as someone in Arizona where it's still like 90 something degrees. Who knows? <sighs> Thank you so much for sticking around. If you watched it all the way to the end, you're the real MVP. Thank you so much. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff that shows engagement. I really appreciate it. If you have a YouTube channel and I have not checked you out, you know, let me know in the comments below. I will definitely make an effort to come around and see what you're all about. Let me know what you're shopping for the Sephora, um, what do they call it? Fall savings event? I don't know. I call it all Sephora VIB sale, but I think it's the fall savings event. Let me know if you're shopping, what you're picking up, what you're recommending, what you think I'm sleeping on. Um, yeah. It's going to be fun, right? <laughs> Happy shopping!